Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale. In this tutorial, we will quickly explain what is a DFB laser. So let's get started. What does DFB mean? Here, DFB means distributed feedback. In a DFB laser, on top of its active region, there is a diffraction grating. This diffraction grating functions as a Bragg reflector basically a mirror. Now let's take a closer look. This figure shows the cross-section view of a DFB laser. DFB lasers do not use two mirrors to form optical cavity as used in conventional lasers such as a FP laser. Instead, a diffraction grating is formed on the upper waveguide layer on top of the active region. The active region is composed of multiple quantum wells and then the active region is buried with current blocking layers. Traditionally, DFB lasers have anti-reflection coated on one side of the cavity and high reflectivity on the other side. In this case, the grating forms a distributed mirror on the anti-reflection coated side, while the high reflectivity side forms the other mirror. The grating is constructed so as to reflect only a narrow band of wavelengths, and so produce a single lasing mode. This wavelength is determined by the grating's period. Conventional DFB lasers have a single mode wavelength from 1.3 micron to 1.55 micrometers. This picture shows exactly how a DFB laser works. The Bragg grating works like a mirror selectively reflecting only one wavelength. This wavelength can be found from the Bragg condition. These pictures show the emission spectrum of a DFB laser at 1545 nanometer. The background radiation is suppressed by more than 50 dB. DFB lasers come in many different packages. The first picture shows a coaxial pictured DFB laser diode. The second picture shows a 14-pin butterfly-packaged DFB laser. The third picture shows a 5.6 mm diameter TO can packaged DFB laser. So there you have it. Please leave your comment below if you'd like to see other topics covered. Don't forget to visit foforsale.com for more free fiber optic tutorials. I hope you learned a thing or two from this tutorial. I will see you in the next video.